Here's the deal, folks. If you have sickle cell anemia, that means the red blood cells in your body, which normally should look like pie plates, look like crescent moons. Instead of looking like pie plates, they look like crescent moons. It looks like a sickle, you know, they used to cut down the wheat with back in the day. That's how it got its name, sickle cell anemia. And when you've got a lot of red blood cells that are sickle-shaped instead of pie-shaped, as they're tumbling through your blood vessels, you can imagine what those sharp little edges what type of pain that can generate. So normally, Derek, right, people that are suffering from sickle cell anemia have these things called sickle cell crises, a couple, right, three, right. four, six, seven times a year. How many crises were you having before longevity every year? Well, I was having probably not major crises. I would say two, two probably major that would put me in the hospital, but minor ones that would sit me on down and sometimes make me go home from work early a week or every two weeks and since you've been on longevity how frequently are the minor ones happening well i had a real minor one about two weeks ago two or three weeks ago it was so minor i left work at 11 sat down and i was up at three uh three o'clock feeling like nothing was wrong and chopping wood the next day like daniel boone well, but the last time, so before longevity, you were having minor events about once a week, and since longevity, you're having minor events once a year? Uh, well, uh, probably about once, maybe twice a year, but it's so minor, it's like <laughs> I can actually just sit down in a chair sometimes and then get up and then have fun. A well, all right, so that's, I mean, uh, that's a big change, right? From once a week to once a year. What the heck? And, and it's kind of just a non event, right? Right, right. All right, so it's interesting, right? So in any event, remarkable positive improvement in the last 12 months since you've been giving your body the nutrition it needs to have healthy, normal red blood cells, right? Exactly. I mean, there's no way without the tangy tangerine and the uh, selenium and the other things, uh, the osteo effects and the EFAs, there's no way I could eat two meals a day ongoing. There's no way I could play basketball like I'm in my 20s and like I actually can play. There's no way I can chop trees and wood and do all the <laughs> things I do, ride bikes like uh, I'm uh, competing and, and still be fine. I mean, it just doesn't happen until longevity came along. It's remarkable. This is a testament to good, new-fashioned medical nutrition, and this is the thing that I'm going to riff on right now. And you can, you know, you can, you can forward this to uh, the person that needs to listen to this. Look, here's the deal. My people are destroyed by lack of knowledge. And for the last 100 years, medicine in the United States has been com dominated and delivered by the pharmaceutical industry, period. And medicine is uh, researched and viewed and pathophysiology is understood through a reductionistic lens. Medical doctors are not trained in science, they're trained in reductionistic science. And reductionistic science argues there is no soul force, the human body does not know how to fix itself, the human body does not have the ability to fix itself. Once you're sick, you're screwed and your only option is to let man, the doctor, march in with man made symptom suppressive synthetic drugs the intention of which isn't to stimulate and promote your body's ability to fix itself but the intention of which is to suppress and control your symptoms for goodness sake medical doctors don't even know how to cure heartburn they can manage it with the little purple pill but they don't know what causes it and they have no idea how to cure it they have no idea what causes sickle cell anemia they have no idea how to cure it and because they're wedded to an old-fashioned out-of-date methodology reductionistic newtonian science their therapeutics fail and so what's you know now they've failed for a hundred years and so now instead of looking at their own looking in the mirror taking the log out of their own eye before they try to fix the speck in their neighbor's eye instead of doing that you know instead of looking at their own methodology and saying what are we understanding that's wrong here they're all about the gene studies now it's got to be genetic even though Watson, James Watson, the guy that discovered the structure of DNA, or at least who was credited for discovering the structure of DNA, for goodness sake, came out, <clears throat> human genetic material, he discovered the structure of it, published it, came out about six months ago and said genetic research is a dead end, shouldn't be done, it's given us nothing, no tangible results, and the genesis, the pathoneogenesis of illness is biochemical, it ain't genetic. 
But the MDs are pig-headed, and they're on this track. They're on a track, and they're never, ever going to get off of the track because getting off of the track would mean that they have to admit their own incompetence, and that is never going to happen. Half a million people died from Vioxx, and nobody went to jail. And they continue to try to develop pain medications of the same ilk. Half a million people, are you kidding me? If you have sickle cells in your blood, it's not because you have a bad gene. It's not because you have an autoimmune disease. It's not because you have a voodoo curse. It's because your body has lost the ability, has run out of the raw materials to manufacture red blood cells the way that nature and God intended it. So what do we do? We provide your body with the raw materials that it needs to optimize its function and health. For goodness sake, you take better care of your automobile than you do of the human body. You change the oil every three months. You take it in for a tune-up once a year. They change out all the fluids. You do not give your body the nutrition that it needs, and it breaks down for lack of nutrition. And then you go to a pig-headed, old-fashioned, pharmaceutical centrist MD. They throw a drug and 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 a drug, and then you suffer and die. Well, guess what? Get a clue. Be like Derek in Indiana. Give your body the raw materials. Get out of the way and let the healing begin. It's not rocket science. Despite what medical experts tell you, it's just not possible to get all the nutrients your body needs from food. Minerals are essential for good health, but not all soils contain these nutrients, so they won't be in your food. And Dr. Peter Glidden knows this. Longevity is organic, plant-derived liquid minerals. This mineral supplement, which contains 77 plant-derived, organic, certified organic minerals in a colloidal state, saturated, concentrated just below the saturation index, is unrivaled in the field of medical nutrition, the field of nutrition, period. There's no other company that has a product that even comes close to this, and this is a big deal. Order your liquid colloidal minerals from Longevity today by... 